So Shirley, thank you for coming to chat to us today about a bit about your history and your connection with Dudley and Top Church. So can you tell us, how did you first become to be here in the UK? Well, my dad came over first. He came over 58. My mom came over 59. My brother came over 60. I was supposed to come before my brother, but my paper was in trouble. So my mom met my brother come first, then she come and fetch me 61. So I came over here 61. And when, when I was little and growing in Jamaica, England was our mother country. Everybody wanted to come to their mother country. For it's beautiful, the sidewalk, and it was like a fairy tale. So when I came over now, and come on the plane, and we come on, I don't remember, till we come on a train, but I show my mom know what to do. Yes. And when I was on the train, and I was looking, I was expecting posh place, posh house and all that. And I was looking, and I see the smoke coming out the chimney. <laughs> Did you come straight to Dudley, Shirley? Yes, I don't go nowhere else. Okay, I did live down Tipton, and then I move up to yeah. there. And I was saying to my mom, where is the house? This where we're going to live, where are we going to live? And she said, that's the house. For I thought it was a factory, as far as I mean. We didn't grow up to see things like this, but we don't need same fire in our house, but we open our doors and all that. So when I came over here, it was a far different thing for me to come over. We don't used to it. So how old were you when you came over? 16, to? going 17. 16. Mm -hmm. So what was it like then for you growing up in Dudley? Well, it was, it wasn't a lot of us. It was what, sorry? It wasn't a lot of black people. Right, like, okay. It was few, so we were yes. cling together. Yeah. And we helped one another. Uh-huh. And my mom always there for everybody. And we used to live together. But yeah. we couldn't get houses. You couldn't get houses? No. Why was that, Shirley? Well, council house, we didn't do anything about council house, and we couldn't get council house. Okay. If they give us one, is what the white people don't want. Right. What's break down and they have enough then they will say. So that's why majority of our age group buy our house. Okay. For we couldn't get. Mm -hmm. So we got to live. You see how them showing how they live together now. That's how we did live together in the sixties. So how were you how were you treated in Dudley? So obviously you were really? staying in the houses that you got were only what white people were yeah, doing. Yes. That's horrible, but, was but, it? You see, when we grew up, no, we couldn't we got to know our place, we couldn't go this. And why I could remember I I never worked before and I got a little work and I was working and this white man. One minute till nice with you and next minute you said, Oh, Black people, for that time, black people was coming over here. And he used to say, black people could come and live on his street where he live. And it was two of us as black working. And we used to say, one was a bit older than me, so she was more brighter than me, but she was adult more than me. And she used to say, never mind, black people. When, if we don't live beside you, we'll be a little beside you when you're down there. Mm -hmm. You know, we take it as a joke. Yeah. We didn't take any notice, but we didn't know better. Mm -hmm. And he used to say, he fighting the war, and if he didn't know that black people will come and take over, he wouldn't go in the war. But to him, black people don't fight war, and yet, Black people find for when I was a little girl, there's this bloke come from over here with his two leg cut up, and they say he come from out the war. We should we we didn't know nothing about war, we are hear about it. Yeah. And when we come up so after we start to grow up now and we have the children and we're married. Oh, you couldn't go there. My husband he used to play that and he couldn't go in, in the pub. So some said if he can't for he was the only black man in the dark team. And he used to say, if he can't come and have a drink in here, 
we call the data. So true to get them for it lose customer. They said, all right, we'll come. But we seems to adapt to it for we just grow up and we just grow up to respect everything and take everything. We should wear my kids them now. They grow yeah. different. Yeah. They want everything. We just labor. Yeah. And then that's how we survive. Mm. We just take it and say, wait, well, this isn't our country. Yeah. But it's different for your grandkids Yes, now. my yeah. kids them, they fight with their right. Yeah. Which we don't. I remember I was going for a job. In those days, you couldn't just walk in. And I was going for the job, and the lady me through the window and the door. No vacancy. I said, here, I've got the paper. Oh, she said, come in. And I got the job. I'm sure I've got the paper. Yeah. But if I was just passing yeah. and said, I took a job. No. Shirley, what did you do for church when you came over to Dudley? Well, we didn't have much church. For top church, wasn't. So we didn't go to much church. Top church wasn't, was it here? Yes, there wouldn't. It was tight, tight. You couldn't come till no. about when everything changed, then yeah. they start to accept. Yeah. And I think Bev, Bev started to come here before me. You don't know Bev. She started to come here before me. But we used to go to black people church and they used to keep in, say now you have a front room, you have the house and you have the front room. Yeah. They used to come and keep service there yeah. till when they can save and buy their church. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you see black people start with their church. And when I married, and I went up St. James's to live. Yeah. There's this vicar of St. James's church in name, uh, Mr. Gibbs. And he used to go around. Five black people didn't go far. Should we know they don't want us, we don't bother them. Yeah. And he used to go around and he used to knock the door. And he used to come in and he used to sit down with us. Yeah. Until all of us uh, start to go to black to white church, and Saint James was packed. It was full and it was mixed. For all I confirm up there, my mom confirm up there, my dad, mm -hmm. my husband, and all my kids them mm -hmm. up there. So we grew up there. For Mr. Gibbs, he was a lovely man, and he opened the door. So he must have really changed the heart of the people in that yes, church. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then after, for, you know, it's a certain time, I think it's every seven years, they move and then go. Then one come, he, he didn't like black. And black people is ever so funny. Once they know you don't appreciate us, we keep away. Mm. And then, he, you know, we still go, but yeah. it wasn't like when Mr. Gibbs was there. No, it was Mr. Owen, Mr. Owen first. Mr. Gibbs was the last one. Mr. Owen first, he was the first one who had come and opened the door yeah. for us. And he used to come and sit down the kitchen with us and find those days. True, you, guys, you can't have a front room he said, this is your front room right now, you'll have here, somebody come, you can't sit down. Our front room is somebody's bedroom. Yeah. So everything is our kitchen. And we also sit down in the kitchen and he also come. And he'll have a cup of tea with us and then we go. Come. Then after Mr. Owen leave, yes, this one come, he didn't like black. Then after he leave, no, Mr. Gibbs come and start it all over again. Right and take black people, so, and we all go there, and it was full. The choir was full of black children in the choir. For my big son, he used to help to give out the wine. Yeah, my big son. So every one of us, they grew up in there. And then when I moved, come down here, we did still go to, to St. James, and my dad did live with me. And he was the head of the house, the face. And when he come in the morning, 
and he knocked the door. All the kids then, they never said, no, I'm not going granddad. Mm -hmm. They were all ready to go. And my husband used to take them. And we used to go there till when my dad passed away now. And my husband, he still wanted to go there, but when he takes sick and he couldn't drive, I said, well, I don't want to catch bus. Yeah. So I said, I can come here. But when I come now, they welcome us for now. Black people start to come, so welcome us. So you up. did find a welcome here? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I get on with them up here, you know, and we take it as Joe to take it in turn to clean the church for those lot, them all gone. So it's a new lot, then we're accepting black people. But in the 60s, it was different. And what was the congregation like here in the 60s, Shirley? In the 60s? Yeah. I don't know if I'd ever come here. Right. I don't know. As I said, I know everything. But when you did come? It was more, a lot of people was here, but it was really, really down. Bev, if you could see Bev, mm. you could get uh, Bev come here more than me. Right. Bev come here longer than me. Yeah. For two, she did live down this way. And all her kids, and she come and be a Sunday school teacher to mm -hmm. the kids there. So she come here, and we just come here about, the, I don't remember how long I come in here. For two, and it's true, my husband, for, if my husband was still, could drive. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't come here, I would be still going to St. James. Mm -hmm. St. James is our church. So it seems that as a black person you've been on a real journey in terms of being accepted in yes. the community yes. and at church. Yes, everywhere yeah. we go, the door knocks. Everywhere. Yeah. Up to it's better now. Yeah. For us we're not going out that much. But even in the seventies, I give you the joke when I went and had it. Um, Frank yep. and um, his mother-in-law, it was three care of us, and we was so hard to find those days, so hard, and we was going out, and we wasn't going anywhere special, so we all, when we go in the kids, them all, we take their pillar and then blanket, and we used to have an estate car, and they used to drop down the door, the back, and them sleep in there. So we was going, so we phoned Frank and said, so what are you doing? He said, not doing anything. So I said, we said, let's go out for the day. He said, all right. And he, he was driving, just driving away. The kids, they were small, we stopped. And I always have my little color gas. You know, the, the yeah. color gas, camping color gas with the things them in it. And I always have it. We didn't go to a restaurant, but we didn't have money in those days. But when we come over here and start to work, well, four pounds a week we was getting, and to live off with four pounds. So we didn't have much. And we used to go. And we drive, and we went to, uh, oh gosh, I forgot, when I remember, I'll tell you, yeah. South, not South Sea. Where you get your passport? Um, Southampton? No, no, no. Oh, I'll tell you when I remember. When we went down there, it's, it's like it was the end of the world. And we go, and we knock the door. No vacancy, we couldn't get no hotel to sleep. We couldn't get no, we didn't see three car load. And when we go, we couldn't get nowhere to sleep. And, we never put that. Mm. We just go and we we'll find a car park yeah. where you can drive in. And we sleep there. And when we wake up, when we wake up, we go to the back wash. You know, you wash yourself. Mm. And, and we give the kids to wash the kids, then who we change, not we change. And we go and have something to eat. South Sea. Not South Sea. Oh, I tell you, you know, we're sending off your passport and all that. Um, oh, I tell you, I remember that the made for you. And when we go, we wake up and we have something to eat and we start again. And we said, we start and when we go to the next place again, 
the same thing. Gosh. We couldn't go in there. Wow. And what, when was that, Shirley? What in the, that was in the 70s. 70s. Yes, that was And what about now, Shirley? Now, t- now we're going nowhere now. Now we're going nowhere now. But how do you feel like, do you think that our country and say our town of Dudley, do you think we, do you think that all people are accepted as equal or have we still got We still to do? got the same, but it isn't so bad. The kids, they, they find it more than we, if I, they take notice of everything. Yeah. They take notice of everything, mm. but we don't. You've got used to it. We got used mm. to it. For I could remember, I'm going back 21 years yeah. ago, when my son did school, he was working at a place. Mm. And I don't know if it is because he was the only black kids there. Yeah. And the elder blokes them start to pick on him, and he have a short temper. Yeah. And he was going there, and his girlfriend and just have a baby. That's the one that lived next door. Yeah. And they start to pick on Go back to your block, where you come from, go back oh, to this, your block, this, your block, that. And he was so upset. Mm-hmm. And lucky thing I didn't go to work. Yeah. And I phoned him and I said, he phoned me and he started to cry. And it was a big man, five it was in his team was and he said, and this blue pea picking on him, why don't you go back to this black country? God call him name and all this. I said, Dave, take no notice. Be proud of your colour. Mm-hmm. You black. Be proud of it. Mm-hmm. Nobody can't take it away from you. He's white. He got to pay mm-hmm. to go and sit in the sun to get your color. No matter how you pay, you can never have his color. So be proud of your color. Yeah. So surely things clearly aren't all okay. There's still issues that you yes, yes, and yes. your family face. Yes. What would be your hopes for the future then? Well, as I said, my future now, as I look at it, there's nothing more I can do now. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to hope my grandkids, them, they give my grandkids. Them. So we hope the door. Mm-hmm. Yes. We hope the door mm-hmm. for why the majority of us come here is because after the war, why people did, wasn't working mm-hmm. and then sent for us first call to them, it's our country, we got to come and help them. Mm-hmm. It's our mother country. Yeah. And when the queen said jump, we say our father. Yeah. So we come to help. Mm-hmm. And that's how majority come here. And when we, my mom come and they work in, working in the hospital, mm-hmm. they didn't get a desk job, they didn't get this and they didn't all them get what the white girls them didn't want to do. Mm-hmm. And to make the tea, change the bed clothes, clean the floor, open it. Mm-hmm. So we hope the way. Yeah. When them saying black don't do nothing in this country and black don't, they want to go back. But we hope the way mm-hmm. to make everything. But a lot of Jamaica was over here in the 60s. But so much that coming over here, like first time. Yeah. But it's harder to come now. But they sent for us. When I came over here, I was British. I have a British passport. Yeah. And yet, in the 70s, I got to get seen a, seen a citizen. I got to pay for it. Gosh. Yeah. And yet, I did have a British passport. You know, the blue passport, what they said, the government said, they went, that's the one that we come on. That's what, sorry? The blue passport. Yeah. What the government said, they're going to bring back. Yeah. British passport. That's the one that we come on. Yeah. Gosh. That's the one that we come on. Let's hope then that things change and only get better for your grandkids. Yes, I hope so. Yeah. For, I mean, as I said, I love Dudley. For, no matter where I go, and nowhere to me like Dudley. 
I love Dudley. It has been all over the place. But no way to me like Dudley. And they were, you'll find one or two. But it isn't so bad now like in the 60s. Yeah. In the 60s. You know your place for white people. In the 60s, then don't go behind you mm. and tell you. They tell you. No, they will laugh with you now, but they still don't love you. But white people, the older mm. one, them, they tell you. Mm. You understand know what it says? Yeah. yeah, they will tell you. I don't like to keep up that my way. I don't like you. They don't go back. Mm. So, you know, but these now, what happened to these though? My kids, they have been there 50, so they grow up with them. So they want them to treat them the equal, just like how they treat them. But they, they, both of them, they go to school together. So they know them different. But as soon as they go to school, and school finish, and then it's gone their own way, it's a different platform. Yeah. And then it's the same for your grandkids as well, isn't That's it? Now they, it. they face challenges still. Still, yeah, 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 yeah. Still. But as I said, it's still around, but not as bad yeah. as... I don't know if you ever hear about the teddy boys then. No. Oh. Oh, in the 60s when they came over here, it was teddy boys. Teddy boys? Yeah. And one black man could walk on the road. No. They, they were, you know what, North Street up here? Yes. That's where it started. And people, black people, got to put wall wall before the, the wind. Wow, Shirley, that's quite a story, isn't it, that <laughs> yeah. you've got? That's a steady boy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So much that you've experienced. Oh, I remember we have a South Sea. South Sea. Ah, that's a place that you can remember. Mm, when, when we couldn't get nowhere to sleep. Gosh, really. I was sleeping in the car. Yeah, you've been through an awful lot, haven't you? Yeah, yeah but we still enjoy it. Mm. And Dudley's home for you? Yes, Dudley's home. I won't, I won't go back. And I won't go back to Jamaica and move it over here. Yeah, this is home. Mm. I want my kids to move over here. I got too rough and I got too And I like you got to how I look at life. You got to take it as it comes. You got to take the good with the bad. I hope that Dudley's a, a better place, even better for your grandkids. Grandma. Yes, I hope so. I hope so for my grandkids then. Or that one, six, seven, eight grandkids. Oh, they keep you busy, don't they, Shirley? Oh. <laughs> well, Shirley, thank you so much for sharing Sorry. some of your story with us today. It's really it's, it's, it's for a sleeping car. I couldn't go to a hotel in a sleeping car, and I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Shirley. I would take it as a joy, you know. You take it never we, when we go and we go to South Sea and they refuse us. We just take it as a love. We go back up to the next place. Hmm. And when we go, and then they just look at us as, and we just take it as love. And we spent three days in the car. And that's our holiday. Yeah. <laughs> tell somebody to do, tell my grandkids to do that. No, they won't. No. Hmm? And rightly so, surely. Yeah. And it's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So as I said, we hope in the way, and I tell my grandkids that my kids will say, we hope in the way we over here, mm -hmm. and you have a right to visit Jamaica, for we was British, so we fought in the over here, mm -hmm. so we have a right, but we don't look at it like that. Mm -hmm. We still look, we know that it should be fear for us, but we, we just accept it. Mm -hmm. But our kids don't. And I'm proud of them. Yeah. So long as they don't get in trouble. Yeah, it's good, it's good that they've not accepted it. And 
people need to stand up, don't they, and yes. speak mm. out against what is wrong. Right, that's so it. So that everybody's seen mm. it. That's mm. it. It's so I'm just hope my for I said to them, your granddad come, and there was a first lot over here. Mm. So oh, it was it was terribly necessary. The, with the living condition. Yeah. But you imagine snow falling and you outside washing your clothes. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> you imagine. <sighs> you you come snow not falling now. No. No. The weather that it's good weather we have now. But I imagine you come from a hard country. Mm. And you can pick any fruits. We never buy sweets. Okay. You pick. You come in from school. You can pick any fruits, anything. And when I came over here, and I see all these empty trees, I said, "How come they don't have any fruit?" For everyone looking, they say they have apple and all this and these trees. And so it was a different things for. And when I came over here. And my mom said, time to go to bed. I said, that is about nine o'clock. I mean, that has to go to work. I said, well, we used to go to bed when it's dark. From five o'clock in Jamaica, it's dark. So I'm looking for darkness to go to my bed. Ah, <laughs> and it never came, it didn't come. <laughs> no. I was expecting for when you're little, your mother country, you're coming to see my mother country, I have everything mm. like what I've got. For in Jamaica, you read the same book, they tell you the same story like what over here. Mm. So we know, we is the only black, we read the same book, tell the same story, London Bridge and all that. So I'm coming to say everything is the same like what in Jamaica, but it was different. Uh, but I won't change it. No. No. I get used to it and I love it over here. I won't go back to Jamaica. I'll go back for holiday, but not to live. No. So, you know, it's a big experience when you came over here. Mm -hmm. It's a big experience. Mm -hmm. And see how hard you work for you over here. To get everything, everything what we have. We got to work hard. And we never get nothing, nothing at all. That's why if you talk to all people like we here, they talk the same thing. It's not fair. But we work for everything. We couldn't go and knock on the door and go up this council and say we want this and we want that. Yeah. We got to work for it. Gosh. We didn't get, we didn't get no hands out, nothing. Everything we have, we work for it hard. For when I have my kids then, I didn't know that I could go and work the going nine o'clock. I think I got to still go in seven o'clock, eight o'clock. So Shirley, you talked about your wedding. Yes. Tell us a little bit about your wedding. Well, my wedding, it was Lenny, mom, and my mom run the wedding. She made the cake. Lenny she, Henry's mum yes. helped to sort of rent yes. your wedding. Yes. And Lenny Henry is my page boy. Okay. He used to have his look of short choices. And what was he like as a child? Oh, he was just the same, like what you see, he was joking fine. And <laughs> when he used to go up to his mum and his mum used to read in comic and all that. And his mom used to say, Oh, go and find so word. And my dad, my husband used to say, Leave him alone, it'll be alright. <laughs> and sit there. But he was just like what you say, jokey fire. <laughs> he was, he was. And true that everybody wanted to be his page boy. He also said, they just read me, they are going to start to charge them. <laughs> no, everybody wanted Lenny to be the page boy. Yeah. Ah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah he's just like that. <laughs> Same, never, he don't change. He don't no. change. Oh. And his mom, his mom was about six. She was your Lenny tall. 
His man was tall as that. Yeah. And she was big. When you hear she walking, <laughs> it taught you. I give you a joke. When I got married, Ria was working. I was the only black. And in those days, white people never mixed with black. Yeah. So I was the youngest one. And it wasn't a big place, or something just three of us. And all the, the women, they want to come to my wedding, but they never been to a black wedding, and they never want. So I said, all right. You know, find those days, you can invite any amount of people you want. And they come and they say, make sure I got to sit beside you on your side of the table. I said, yes. So when Winnie, um, Lenny Henry, mother name's Winnie, when she was walking and she come, and she was walking, mm -hmm. People, they white people, they're friends, but they never said such a big lady. And when they was giving them, everybody was saying, Oh, they don't want it, but they're friends. <laughs> they were frightened by it. Yeah. Oh. So I got to say, She's all right, take it and eat it. For you know, then they was the first ever, they never been to a black <laughs> wedding or nothing in black. I'm the first one they ever been. So everything was different for you. Know, you know, black people do everything different. Yeah. <laughs> Where was the wedding, Shirley? Where did you get married? My church knocked down. You know this one down Wellington Road there? Yes. Where the tatters is? Yes. That's where the church. You know that carpet place? Yes. That's where we got married. Um, mm -hmm. So I've been in church up in there a long time. You have, haven't you? Yeah, that's where I got married. I know um. soon I'm married, they said, oh, Okay, I'm knocking it down. I don't know how I've done to them. I must be done something I don't know. <laughs> wow, thank you, Shirley, for sharing all your memories. Yes, it's really, yes, yes. really good. So you can pick out what you want. <laughs>